Come for the review, stay for the tutorial. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna do the review of the Kat Von D metal palette. It is the tinier metal palette because I thought at the time that the big metal palette wasn't something I needed in my life. So then after I saw some pretty looks with the Kat Von D metal palette, I decided I needed it in my life. So I go to find it, it's out, it's out, it's gone, nowhere to be bought. Mm -mm. So I bought a dupe and I do have a video on that dupe that I've done and released previously. And I thought that the dupe did a great job, if memory serves me correct. However, I saw the little metal palette and that it had a lot of the colors I really like, which is you can never have enough whites. I love, love, love yellows. In fact, I want to do another look there. I love this peachy color and the browns and the cranberries. Let me tell you about this little palette. This little palette kicks tail like the pigmentation off the hook. I absolutely love, love, love this palette. And I'm gonna put my fingers in it just for you. I've got Flash, Doce, Synergy, and Raw Power. And look at how pretty those colors are. And they look like what is in the pan. That's what I was impressed with when I use this palette is that it drives me insane to get a new palette only for the palette to not perform like the color in the pan. And for the most part, I've had really good luck with hers. And this is Thunderstruck. Her palettes typically perform very, very well for me. They're pigmented. They, when you put them on your eye, they look like they're on your eye. They look like, of course they look like they're on your eye. You put it there. Anyways, the color that goes on your eye looks very similar to what's in here. Now, I will say this eye look is from a different palette because I was trying a, some new products and I realized I hadn't filmed my intros. I kind of used some of the similar colors in this eye look as that I used in here, but it's not, if you're looking at this eye look, the tutorial is going to be more like what the thumbnail is going to be. I absolutely would repurchase this again love 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 this so if you like these colors or these color tones you are going to love this palette because like i said it performs like it looks and so i will keep this little bad boy right in front of me because i can see me grabbing that to use over and over again so i really really like that we are going to get into the tutorial now okay, so, so i was go. able to pick up the metal palette on sale or i used a 20 percent off coupon Either way, I got the mini metal palette. I was not smart enough to pick up the big metal palette when it went out. And then when I decided I needed it in my life, it was no longer available, which is my luck. So we're going to play with the mini one today. I'm going to start out with suede as my base. It's really pretty all over the eye color. It is really nice and neutral. I really like it. I'm going to pick up some oak. That color went on nice. And it's not patchy. Even better. I'm going to take a blending brush and just kind of blend out where I put it kind of in the crease. I really like that brown color oak. Really, really 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 i'm now going to pick up a little bit of this velvet and place it right next to oak and those two are blending really nice together really really all right i want to pick up this color here Ooh, these are pigmented that was way darker than i had anticipated way darker so we are going to lighten that up. Like I thought it was going to be a lot, lot lighter. It's, wow. This palette is really, really pigmented. Did I mention really, really? We're going to pick up some Thunderstruck. And kind of try to blend that down a bit. Yeah, that lightened it nice. This palette is just beautiful. Beautiful! 
Okay, I'm going to pick up some bone, and that's going to go right up underneath the eyebrow. We are going to pick up some oak for the lower lash line. I think we're going to go with raw power. Right up underneath oak. I'm going to pick back up the brush we had oak on. I'm going to grab some suede and blend over the top of the edge just to soften that up a bit. And I think we're ready for some eyelashes. Ooh. I think on my inner waterline though, I'm going to tight line with blacker from Marc Jacobs. Using Pretty Vulgar, the ink pot. The ink pot. Alright, we're going to pop on some eyelashes. Alright, eyelashes are popped on. This look is finished. And yeah, I really like the metal matte, matte palette. It just ended up... The pigmentation was there, which is always wonderful. The blendability is there. So if you, you need to blend it down, you can. So I like that. But yeah, the, the pigmentation on this was... Maybe I've just not used some good eyeshadows lately, but it really, really went on nice. I I love it. Cat always, for the most part, I think, always does a pretty good job with the quality of her eyeshadows. Now you may not like the color combos, but as far as the quality goes, it they seem to work. And so yeah, I really like how well these blended out. There's no patchiness as I tilt my head back, so that's awesome. See some areas I can blend though when I tilt my head back. But I really like this palette. So if you have this palette or the, the big one that I can't get my hands on anymore, totally jealous, bought a knockoff because I couldn't handle not having it. Knockoff did well, but it's really nice having the mini metal that's the legit. So yeah, I just really, I really like this one. So I think it just came out, the eye look came out really pretty today. I'm excited about the yellow in there. I love, love, love yellows. I don't know why I've been on a yellow kick. Or not a yellow kick, but I've really just, I'm drawn to the yellow. I can't explain it. So I'll probably do another look with the yellow. I held myself back today. Held myself back.